Good morning, kindergarten and first grade. You are learning all about how to do your school at home through the computer this way. Remember, in class even, our goal is for you to be more and more responsible for you being in charge of what you're learning, because that's all work that your brain has to do. I can help, but you're the ones who actually have to do it. So now when you're doing your learning at home, we're going to have you guys being more and more responsible for keeping track of your work and what you're doing, because your parents are busy. They have other things to do too. And you guys, this is your learning. So of course you're in charge of it. So in just a moment, I'm going to have you pause the video and I want you to get two things. I want you to get a piece of paper. I'm just using scrap paper from our classroom. It can be smaller. It doesn't need to be big like this. And something to write with. I'm using a marker so that I can make it kind of big for you to see, but it can just be regular pencil and a little post-it note or something like that. So go ahead, pause the video, get paper and pencil, and then come back. All right, I assume you have paper and pencil right now. We're going to make a list of the jobs you're doing today. Here's the first one. Put down a number one and then put a B for Bible. Now, first grade, if you want to write out the whole word Bible, you may. And then, boys and girls, once you do the work you have for Bible, you're going to come back and you're going to cross out that word Bible. Today, boys and girls, you have another video clip to watch with the link in the description of this video, just like yesterday. Now, this is the same part of the Bible as what you watched yesterday, but it's different people imagining how it might be. Do you remember when we talked about characters and plots and settings back before here at school when we were talking about stories? Well, these are kind of stories, so you can look, compare the characters. What's Jesus like in the videos from yesterday compared to the videos from today? How are the stories told a little bit differently? It's all the same words because they're reading the exact words from the Bible. But still, the way the people act give you a little bit different feeling. Now, today, boys and girls, the video doesn't actually end. It goes on for about three and a half, four more hours. You don't need to watch all of that. You're going to watch about 10 minutes. If you sure aren't sure how to keep track of 10 minutes, you can look for two things. First of all, if you know how to look for the time counter on the video, you can look for it to go to about 37.00. That's about 37 minutes. That's about 10 minutes from where you're going to start the video if you click the link. Uh, if you're not sure how to look for the 37, then watch for where Jesus dumps water on someone's head. That happens in the video. When he dumps a skin full of water on someone's head, you can know that's where you're stopping for today in the Bible story. Remember, you're just thinking, how is this the same as yesterday? How is this different from yesterday? So if that's your first job, Bible. Pick up that pencil or that pen again. Get your piece of paper again, because now we're going to put number two. Number two, first graders don't spell out scholastic. It's really long and strange. So kindergarten and first grade, just write an S for scholastic. Now, you're going to have four jobs to do here. You're going to have two books to listen to or read along with if you can. You're going to have one video to watch and one activity to do. Now, you did this yesterday with rabbits for kindergartners and spiders for first graders. Today, you have slightly different topics that are going to be happening. For your activity at the end, again, make a little rectangle right here. Put a circle inside. That's supposed to look like a camera. I remind you to take a picture of the activity, your last job, and send it to me. So go ahead, have a number two with an S for scholastic. Put four marks, one, two, three, four, because you're going to cross them off as you, after you listen to one book, cross that one off. After you listen to the second book, cross it off. Cross it off with the video. After you do the activity, you can cross that off, and then you can send the picture to me. You, you'll need somebody to help with that one. I love seeing the pictures of what you guys were doing. Those of you who did bunnies, you did some hopping things. Here I have a picture of Lily. It looks like you got your brother Connor into the act too, doing some of your bunny hopping. With the spiders, Charlie made us a copperhead spider. You can see there's a body, there's a head, and there are eight legs. Jocelyn had shape spider, yellowish. Again, you can see body, head, eight legs. Let's, oh, Hattie, of course, made a princess spider on pink paper. Her princess spider can fly. I guess she has a fancy, fancy hat and a castle to live in also. And uh, she lays a lot of eggs. 
So I love seeing those pictures of the activities that you were doing. Now the third thing, we can just put a K for this. Kids A to Z. Remember you want to spend about 15 minutes there. If you have an assignment, do the assignment first. I loved seeing what you guys were reading yesterday. Um, Sawyer, I saw some of the books you were reading. Hattie, she read a book about bird colors and a book about faces. So that is fabulous. Go ahead, about 15 minutes there again. Four is math. You have a video, just like you watched yesterday, explaining what you sh should be doing in math. Now, in math kindergartners today, you're going to send me a picture of something that you do in your math book. First graders, remember yesterday I said save that paper clip? First graders, today you're going to use that paper clip to make the spinner game. And then the last thing that you have is the activity. For kindergartners, you're going to sort your pictures again today, just like you did yesterday. We're going to do that every day this week, just to get us used to having that extra fifth thing to do, so that if we're still doing this in April, you guys have some skills for it. First graders, you're going to have two jobs. So first graders, you might want to put two marks there. One is to do two wrap-ups, just like yesterday. The other job is to do another comic book story. So yesterday you did the one about getting dressed up. Today you have, big surprise, read the comic book story, answer the questions, and then put it back in the bag to bring back to me at school. All right, boys and girls, you are welcome to use your parents' phone to call me or have your parents or a brother or sister help send me a text or an email if you run into any questions. If I notice at the end of today that there are some of you I haven't been getting pictures from or you haven't logged into kids A to Z, um, I'll be contacting your parents just to make sure that everything is working right on your end because I know we got some kinks to work out while we're changing everything around. But it looks like a lot of you are having fun. I'm so glad about that. Um, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.